Hello everybody! Hi! So the lovely people at Ardex sent me some of their acrylic markers to test out for you guys. And with the um, back to school season kind of going on right now, I figured we would use the acrylic markers to paint on some school supplies. Hopefully trying to make back to school somewhat okay. I'm not okay with it though. I'm not okay with it at all. <laughs> now I do online school so I don't really have to do a lot of back to school shopping but these are just some things that you guys can do if you want. I have these notebooks. I don't really use notebooks because I do online like I said I just type a lot but these are something that you can decorate really easily and we're gonna be doing that today. Also got a pencil, also got a highlighter. We're just gonna get into it. I just keep talking, so we're just we're just gonna start. Okay, so here is our notebook. I think we're gonna start by doing this notebook. I wanna paint something like simple just on the white part. Here are our markers, by the way. I took them out of the box just so you can like see them better. But there are so many different colors and I have used these already, so a lot of them are already like activated and stuff but there are some that aren't so i'll show you how to activate them so this one i have not activated yet this one is one of the metallic ones so it actually says on here all you have to do you shake the marker to mix the ink and then you press up and down several times and then you just use it so we'll shake it with the lid on with the lid on guys and then you just kind of like press boom look at that and yeah it is the metallic one but yeah, see, now it's activated and we can use it. Now that I've shown you how to activate them, we're gonna get started. We're gonna go onto this. And like I said, I'm doing a very simple design here. I'm probably just gonna do a couple like cute flowers. So we're just gonna like, I'm just gonna go and draw some like vines kind of going around the thing. Look, see, wow. And that is what we have now with the green. I'm gonna let that dry. I don't wanna, I don't want the colors to bleed into each other. They don't take super long to dry. It just depends on how like, how much paint you've put on there. All right, now the green part has dried and we're gonna go back in with our flowers. We're gonna take this pretty purple color. I like this color. Oh, it's not activated. You know what that means? Boom, it's ready to use. Okay, we're gonna add some pretty purple flowers now. So now here's our purple flowers. You can see them there. I think the last color we're gonna add is a nice little yellow. I feel like it'd be really cute with like the purple and the pink. Here's how our first school supply turned out. I think it's so cute and it's really simple. I did a really simple design. You could definitely do something more complicated if you really wanted to, but I wanted to do something really simple just to show you that like, you know, it's really easy. So look at that. We're gonna move on to the next one, which I think we're gonna do this pencil. Yes pencil this boring boring pencil now how do you improve a pencil well i was planning on putting a snake wrapping around it i don't know if that's gonna work but we can definitely try okay we gotta find some greens so we have this nice light green color we have a darker green and then maybe like this green i feel like maybe these two will be good and we can use this one for some details okay let's let's try these <laughs> Okay, and now we have a cute snake wrapping around the pencil. Now, I should have been a little bit smarter and put it, like, at this part, because now it's right where you hold the pencil. Um, so if you do this, and if you want to do a snake, just a word of advice, put it farther down here, because I'm an idiot. Okay, so now we have our little <laughs> our little snake. He looks kind of sad, I'm not gonna lie. But we have our snake, and we have our notebook. As for what we're gonna do on this highlighter, I'm not entirely sure. We could paint, like, a little ghost. I think that'd be cute. That's simple enough, too, that, like, anybody can paint a ghost. Just like a blob with eyeballs i think we're gonna put this one closer to the bottom i learned from my mistakes with the pencil i feel like this kind of looks like the snapchat logo now like with the yellow background and a ghost oh look at the little ghost oh that's kind of cute actually i kind of like that i think for the eyes we're gonna use this like metallic one again because this one kind of has like that metallic silver as well i think it'd be really cool oh my god he's so cute look at him oh i love him he's my favorite he's my favorite i love this <laughs> Okay, so we have all of our school supplies all nice and decorated. I really like how some of these turned out. I like this one a lot with the flowers. I think that one's so cute and simple. I also decorated a um, pencil sharpener just like off camera real quick. It is a little butterfly. I thought that one was also something simple that you guys could do if you wanted. So should you should you buy these markers? These these are very nice markers. I think they're a good alternative to things like Posca pens. They're very nice. They have a lot of different color options. They have good coverage. They work on a variety of surfaces. I use them on a highlighter. These are really nice paint markers. I have a couple links in my bio where you can purchase these. So feel free if you want to get them for yourself as a gift. You don't have to get them. If you just enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye.